is I'm going to compare what the United States has done and what China has done and how the United States really has no firm ground to stand on when it's trying to belittle China and trying to tell it what to do. And then the United States says you're discriminating against Muslims. Their last president, uh, Donald Trump, who uh, banned a whole bunch of Muslim countries, uh, citizens from entering the United States. Why? Because they're Muslim countries. When when uh, China deals with their Muslim population, what do they do? They, they educate them. They make it so they have better access to the rest of the country. They make it so they have a future for their themselves and their families. Uh, in the United States, what do they do? They bomb Afghanistan and Syria. They, uh, they start wars. They actually, the United States is... Uh, has has been in more wars, more more policing actions, and and being a part of more coups and attempted coups around the world than the rest of the countries in the world put together since World War II. Now, how's that for uh, being a peace-loving country? And then they say that China is militarizing. Yes, they are becoming a threat to the world militarily. This comes from a country that has over 800 military bases around the world. So uh, it's, it's, the United States is like, well, we can do this, but you can't do it. Why not? Because uh, there's a double standard there and everybody knows there's a double standard and there has been a double standard for a long, long time. You know, China has over 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. The United States has none. Yes. Uh, people can move around the country so much more freely and inexpensively than, uh, than a place like the United States. Uh, the United States can't get anything done. Where China is building and getting things done on a scale that's never been seen before anywhere in the world. And uh, China is... Uh, getting richer and richer. Uh, the people are better educated, the health care is getting better, uh, infrastructure is getting better, transportation is getting better. So what do you think would happen if a Chinese person was walking around a city, a, a complex like this, in a big city of uh, seven and a half million people, uh, speaking in Chinese in a place that really nobody really knows me. I'm uh, basically the safest person here. Why? Because they treat foreigners with respect in China. You know, it's, it's one of those things that um, the Chinese people are, they're just nicer. That's why I can walk through a place like this with a camera in my face doing whatever I want to do as far as uh, as, as talking and, and stuff with not a worry in the world.